So I've already made two videos about my Blu-ray and DVD collection, and I want to show off my record collection now. It is a lot smaller, I've only gotten into it the last few months, but I, I'm quite enjoying it, quite enjoying collecting vinyls, eh? It's uh, good, it's very expensive, a lot more expensive than, you know, DVDs and Blu-rays. But yeah, so, uh, so I have them all in order from, you know, alphabetical by band or artist, and then afterwards I have movie soundtracks, so I didn't want to put them inside because I've got a few movie soundtracks as well so we'll, we'll get to those afterwards so the first thing I have is 858 by the band 858 so uh this is this is my first record I bought because I love this I bought it online and this is a jam this album is awesome it's like an uh, electric music album so uh, you might find from watching this I'm less of a I've got less ways to describe music than I do in movies, because I'm, I'm more of a movie guy, right? Previously on Family Guy. He's been directing his own movies recently, but normally he, he's written uh, for other directors like Spike Jones, and he made, uh, well, he wrote, uh, what's it, <laughs> what's it, what am I trying to think of? But, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm, I'm trying to get better with, uh, you know, my, my music taste and all that stuff. So, yeah, this is a great album. It's from, um, Half of the members of the band of Orbital, my, my flatmate showed me this album, and it is, it's one of my favorites. It's, it's great. It, so it's only got, well, like, nine tracks on it. Yeah, it's, it's got, what, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, nine, exactly. Uh, it's got nine tracks on it, and they all play into another, and it is such a great listen. It, it's basically just one big song, I've always felt, like, the, the only song on here I'd really listen to by itself is called Villain. I think Villain is the best song on here, but all of it together is better than Villain. You know, it is, it is such a jam. Out of, out of all of these albums that you, hadn't, uh, that you hadn't listened to, please listen to this album. It's on Spotify. It is amazing. This is really good. So, how am I going to put this down? Because I don't want to... Uh, uh, okay. So... You know, if you could, if I showed you before, I'm keeping these in like boxes of of you know Tui Bear because I don't really have a good uh good way to store these at the moment. I'm I'm moving in a couple of months and then maybe I'll get a better place to store them. Like they don't fit in the same shelves that I keep my DVDs on. They're too tall, so it's a bit of a pain. But we'll see. All right, now we have got the band Arctic Monkeys. So this is one of my favorite rock bands. So, I, oh oh shit! Oh no! This is gonna be a nightmare. Yeah, because the, these boxes aren't that stable. So let's try that. All right. All right, so I have three of their albums. Uh, they're my three favorite ones. I, I've i listened to some of their other stuff, and I'm not the biggest fan. Like, I can I can get into some of it. I'd like to listen to more. The, the new album is not good. Like, they released this year. It's it's very slow and very... Hmm. So, so that this, there's two types of albums. So you got these two. So, uh, Humbug and... What's this called? Your yeah, Favorite Worst Nightmare. That's what it's called. So, Humbug and Face Favorite Worst Nightmare. Very fast. Very fast-paced. Very, very hard-hitting. They've, they've got some slower songs, but they're very quick. You know, high tempo. And they're very... They're fun, right? And then you've got their second-to-latest album, AM. Which I, I rate in, like, my top, like, five albums. I love this album. They've got these songs, uh... Yeah, the, the opening and closing songs are the best songs on, on the album, and probably Arctic Monkey's best music. So, Do I Want to Know and I Want to Be Yours are so good. But this album is it's amazing. Like, listen to AM, but if uh, if you haven't listened to Arctic Monkey's before, I would recommend this one. Favorite Worst Nightmare? Uh, favorite Worst Nightmare. I think that's the best one to, to listen to Arctic Monkey's first, I'd say. But, you know, they're, they're a famous band. You know, you should know. Arctic Monkeys. Because I still talk to my therapist to this day about the fear, the lingering fear of around the corner at any moment uh, an Arctic Monkeys album could pop out and bore me to death. Uh, we got J. Cole. So this is, what's it called? 2014 Forest Hill Drive. It's not his best album. I think it's maybe his third best album. So his best album is his first album, I'd say. And then followed up by uh, Voluminati, which is a great album. And there will be this, and then probably KOD after that. But like all three of them are great, but I don't think his first album is on vinyl, which is a bit of a shame. Like, like J. Cole's a huge artist, you know, a huge rap artist, and I don't know why it wouldn't be on here. It's a bit of a pain, you know? But yeah, so that that's, it, it's, this is a good album. It's a lot slower, and I, I 
yeah, again, I it's not my favorite. When I, when I bought it, I thought it was his first album. I was just a bit silly. Like, I saw it, I was like, yes, finally, I found the album I want. But no, nah, it was not. But that's all right. So I'll, I'll probably get more of his albums in the future. You'll see throughout this, because I'm only beginning, and I'm missing a lot of key albums that I'd like to have. So, you know, maybe in the future, like a year or so, I can make another video like this, showing off you know, how I've grown my collection. And, and, and a thing you'll find later is I'll have more Daft Punk, because I only have random access memory. But I like pretty much every single Daft Punk album. Cool. And I'd love to get their, their live albums on record as well. That at the store near me, they had their, you know, uh, 1997 video, uh, yeah, record. And their 2007 one is also really good. I'd like, I'd recommend the 2007 one. I've listened to that a couple times now. It's very, very good. But yeah, all the albums are awesome too. And they were releasing their album for, you know, they did a soundtrack for Tron Legacy, the movie. And their soundtrack is awesome. Their movie is a bit so-so, but the music, oh, I love Daft Punk. I, I, I miss them. They should, I wish they toured in 2000, uh, in, you know, 2017, because they do one every 10 years on the 7, so I don't think they're going to do it anymore, which is sad. You know, they're old. Ah, uh, it's very sad. Alright, uh, you know, Dust Effects, Dead Serious, this is a great album. I've never listened to any more of their stuff. I really should, because I love this album. You got British Man, Duran Duran. I think they're British. Uh, I really should have done a bit more research. So I, so I've got two albums. I got the you know their their first album, their their title one, you know Duran Duran, and then I have Rio. So they're the two famous ones, and they're the two best. I don't. I might not have actually listened to their other stuff. My parents are huge Duran Duran fans. Like they'll they'll listen to them all the time, and well maybe not huge, you know. But I remember growing up listening to Duran Duran a lot, and you know it got you know stuck in my head, you know. And, you know, and I, I bought these recently. They were, they were pretty cheap because they, they were secondhand. And they're great. Oh, it's so great to listen to them again. I, um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I'm watching them. Um, yeah, glad I gave them, you know, more of a listen. They're, they're very fun. Do enjoy. All right. Now, I have three Eminem albums. Everyone's going to love Eminem. I'll probably get most of his, you know, discography in the future. But I just, I haven't yet. So, this, I have the marshmallows lp so this is the second album i believe or maybe it's third and you know this one's great you know it's, it's got a lot of the hits you know the way i am the real slim shady you know but you know there's other shit on here i really like um what's that song i love da, 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 i don't know uh drunk drug bold that's my favorite song in this album i think it's really good the you know good time you know it's more of the like the edgy eminem that like you, know, you don't really see him anymore that anymore in his stuff you know his modern stuff isn't as good it's more about him just trying to rap fast than it is about anything, you know, you know, it's like about like the, the heavy life he lived and all that stuff when he was younger, which sucks. I think, you know, he's, he's off the drugs. He's, um, you know, he lives a more privileged life now. So, you know, maybe he's, he's gone further away from that life that he was rapping about. I don't know. You know, I'm not saying that you have to live in the squalor to be a good rapper or, you know, to be a good artist at all, but, you know. Uh, so this is my favorite Eminem album, yeah, um, the Eminem show. I think this is awesome. Yeah, it's got Haley's song, probably his best song. Uh, Drips, which is a good song about um, getting STDs. And yeah, the, this like this would be my go-to for an Eminem album. I love it. I think it is it's amazing. Obviously, there, there's so many other great Eminem albums like Encore and um, yeah, the Slim Shady LP. And I I do really like the Marshmallows LP too. I think that was his last like you know, good album, like, obviously Recovery wasn't that great, uh, but since then, you know, Re you know, Revival was terrible, like, absolutely dog shit, and I didn't like, uh, you know, Memories to be Murdered by, or whatever it was called, uh, you know, Music to be Murdered by, that's what it's called, and, yeah, I didn't think it was a good, um, what was it, you know, Kamikaze was, was a good, um, you know, back to, you know, bring back to form, I enjoyed, and, uh, but, you know, it had a lot of weaker moments, and it was very short, you know, it felt like a, like some of Kanye's albums that he's been releasing recently, where it's just like half an album. But, um, all right. And then the Eight Mile soundtrack. I just bought this yesterday, I think. So I, I don't even have a cover on this. So, you know, all of them I've got these, you know, protective covers on. But I, I'm actually out. I need to go get some more. But there's one other album I bought yesterday that, um, uh, that doesn't have a cover. So I'll, you know, show you that when I get to it. But yeah, so this, this is great. Uh, right. It's got Rabbit Run on this. This is like, that is a jam. That is like a huge jam. 
I, I love that song. And it's got another a couple of great ones like uh you know the the tar track Eight Mile. You know, lose yourself was on this, but I think that's on another album as well. Um, yeah, so the and the movie's good fun too. Like I, I enjoy it. It's not not like a high work of art, but it's 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 good. Like I definitely enjoy it. All right. So I hope these are all in alphabetical order. Like, so this is a uh, Childish Gambino under G for Gambino. So this is his first album, Camp. I really enjoy this one. Like, Gun to My Head, maybe his uh, what's that? What's that Blue album called? That one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe that's a better album. But this is, I think that this very noisy. Sorry about that. Just like in my DVD video my cleaner came and started vacuuming while i was doing this recording so let's try that again eh charles gambino so i do like charles gambino i think that his i think it's his third album is better than this i think this is better than the second album you know because the internet i don't think that album's very good i think it's very you know packed down with skits i think and i think that that really brings it down i think because like i like a good skit in a in a album you know it's good in in Kanye albums Eminem does a lot of it as well but I feel like that one's like half fucking skits and it's it's it kind of bogs the album down you know it's it's hard to just listen to you know but this album no skits it, it's got like this you know this this story going through it I guess about you know Gambino and this girl when he was in you know teenager or something that that's in the song Sunrise I think maybe it's that power I'm not 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 100 percent I think it, it, the song starts really strong with the song Outside. I think that that that's one of the strongest songs in this album. It's a good a good 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 album. So uh, I would recommend this if you you know everyone knows Charles Gambino, right? You know Donald Glover. You know you've you know, you, you've listened to Redbone. You listen to This Is America. Now what, listen to this one. <laughs> this is his first album. I'll probably end up getting his his third album. I I, I can't see myself buying because of the internet, you know, but. Like, I wonder if he has a vinyl release for his, um, his summertime, um, you know, releases. He, he did, uh, you know, two songs, you know, called, um, you know, it, it was like the summertime or something, because those songs were, were jam, you know, I loved them. Okay, so my favorite Gorillaz album, Plastic Beach. Uh, I do like Demon Days as well, and I've listened to a bit of the, the newer album, and I thought it was alright, like, uh, I need to listen to more Gorillaz, but I love this album. This album is so strong. This album is great. It's got that great song with um, you know the title, the title track. You know, Welcome to the Plastic Beach. Well, it's not the title track. The song is Welcome to the Plastic Beach. There is a title track called Plastic Beach later, and that that's got Snoop Dogg on it. It is awesome. It is a great, you know, intro to the album. And I love the song Sweeps <laughs> Sweepstakes. Just Sweepstakes. <laughs> yeah, uh, you got it, or however it goes. It's uh, it's good shit. I love it. Yeah, th this is a great album. I would really recommend this if you like Gorillaz. Like, who, everyone knows Gorillaz, you know. Hur, hur. <laughs> shuka, shuka. Uh, I'll just reorder this later. Let's put that down. Uh, I've got the Thriller album. This was a nice second-hand one I found. But, um, yeah, who, you know, gotta love the Thriller album. Am I am I pro-pedophile if I like Michael Jackson? I don't know, you know. You can watch the documentary, see for yourself. But, um... Yeah, so, you know, Michael Jackson's amazing. He's got a couple of, you know, bangers, but this is his, like, best album. Like, everyone loves this album. But, yeah, he's got a couple of great albums, and, you yeah, I'll probably end up getting some more. But, um, I don't listen to Michael Jackson that often, but, you know, I, I, I saw it, and I, I thought might as well, right? Uh, Logic. Logic's, it's not as, this is his first, like, album album, I think. He had, like, some mixtapes and stuff before this, but th this is, and this is also the deluxe version with three extra songs on it, which are amazing. Like, they're songs that I can't believe are not on the original album. But this album is a banger. This is his best album. This is awesome. I love Logic. I think Logic is great. I'm, I don't, I didn't like his latest album that much, which is like a sequel to this. I need to listen to it more, I think. I think it just needs to grow on me. But I love his Bobby Tarantino mixtapes, one and two. They're awesome. And I love the two albums he released after this one. So, yeah, those ones. And they're, um, they're great. You know, they're, they're really enjoyable. Uh, yeah, um, you know, Lo Logic doesn't, like, you know, uh, you know, Anthony Fantano, you know, shits on Logic a lot, saying he doesn't bring too much new stuff to the table, but, I just, I'm not that critical on, you know, being new in the industry, I'm, I'm, I, I like what I like, right, and I like Logic, I think Logic, you know, he, he makes some, 
you know, bang of beats. He, uh, you know, he, he's got some, cl you know, clever punchlines, you know, some clever rhymes. And, you know, he can, he can rap pretty fast, which is, you know, it's always enjoyable to see. It's, it's not a, like, a necessity. And it's not, like, the be-all end-all. Like, when you listen to Eminem's latest stuff, you're like, ugh. You know, just, you know, I get it. You can rap fast. But, like, what are you saying? You know? And I think Logic's saying a lot of good stuff. All right. Um, I have Nas's, I don't, I think he's got a newer album now, but this is the one that he produced, uh, that Kanye West produced, you know, Nazir, uh, when, when Kanye, last year or the year before, maybe, he was re releasing the, the short LPs with a bunch of other people, and this is, you know, the EP, sorry, not LPs, uh, you know, this album's great, it's, it's not his best, you know, like, like, everyone loves, um, this is first album, Illmatic, Illmatic's great, and, uh, that album with Ether on it is also a good album. Like, I'll probably get both of those albums. But I really like this album. They're, so it's really short. There's, there's like nine albums. Uh, nine songs on this as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven songs. Yeah, you know, all the all the good music albums that Kanye released had seven songs. And yeah, th this one's great. I love every single song on this. Even the one, um, uh, Everything, which I think is really good. Ex even though he's fucking rapping about how fucking uh vaccines cause autism and shit it's so cringy like i wish he i wish he didn't <laughs> i wish he wouldn't do that but he did he did <laughs> it's it's kind of awkward but uh like it, it's, it's a banger like a nas is pretty great i i do like nas i need to listen to him more really um red hot chili peppers you know so californication everyone loves this album I don't think I've ever listened to any other Red Hot Chili Peppers album, and I think I I, I need to because this this album is a banger. This album is like the best shit ever, you know. Not not only is you know the the title track you know Californication an absolute banger, but you've got shit like Get on Top and uh, Around the World, which is the opening song, and um oh other sides great too. Ah, oh, can I just stop the video and listen to this album? Shit, this this album is so good. I I love it. I I, I love it like to death. It is it's awesome. All right, now we're on to Kanye, and I have, th this is the last of all the music, you know, West, and I have basically his whole filmography, oh yeah, uh, discography, I should say, so, his opening, uh, his debut album, College Dropout, amazing, so I'm a huge Kanye fan, I've been thinking about making a, a video just talking about, you know, the style of my best director videos that I make, but just in, for Kanye West, so if you, if you want that, please, you know, you know, comment down and then let me know you know in cinema advised me to make that but i yeah i love kanye he's got a great story i think he um you know he's he's very eccentric and he's kind of an asshole you know running for president at the moment apparently you know I, I don't even know if that's real but he is he's he's great and his humble beginnings in this album is so good you know um, Jesus Walks is probably the best song in this album. Let's have a look. Um, like, I, this album is amazing. Every single song is awesome. Uh, Through the Wire is probably his best. Sadly, this, this isn't, like, the deluxe version. It doesn't have, um, what, what's that extra song he, he has? There's, like, an extra song he, but he, he added to this, like, later down the track, and it's awesome. It's, like, you know, talking about the story of him starting up and, and becoming a, a rapper, and it, it's so good. Like, it's on Spotify. You should definitely listen to that. Like, like, cause it's not like the main part of the, the, the album and it's, um, it's very enjoyable. You know, it's a, like a lot of rap, you know, a lot of rappers, a lot of artists do this now is they have like a closing song. You really, really go over it. Is that on that J. Cole album? Let's have a look. Cause J. Cole also has one. Yeah. Yeah. Note to self on that J. Cole album I had. And that, um, that's also a very similar thing. It's got this great, um, uh, you know, piano chords at the start but anyway we're talking about kanye all right so then his, his second album yeah late registration so this is a, his follow-up to uh college dropout yeah still following that theme of you know university and all that stuff which is which is great and he, he in this album especially and the college dropout yeah these two complement each other so well you know talking about you know his, his views on university and it's a waste of time all that stuff it, it's very interesting I, I really like his um his mentality Oh, the, yeah, the, the album doesn't have all the skits. The, my record doesn't have all the skits that is on that album. And I think it, it's a shame, because those skits are great. You know, talking about how, you know, college is a waste of money. He's like, you see me? My degrees. It, it's good shit. I, I love it. Like, those skits are great. Yeah, this album's great. Uh, it's got Touch the Sky and Gold Digger. You know, some, some good bangers. 
Yes, yeah, everyone loves those. What what's like one I really like? Um, da, da, da. Oh, my way home's really good, and crack music's awesome too. Yeah, but both of those are great. All right, so this is third album. So graduation. This is a deluxe. They're, they're actually purple. Uh, the records. Um, uh, I don't want to take them out. It'll be a bit of a pain. But uh, the the record is purple on these, and that's so cool. I really like it. And yeah, so that you know, this is all his like his real bangers. You know, everyone loves this album. You know, it's got stronger. It's got uh, what what else does it have? <laughs> Drunken Hot Girl is his worst song. Fuck, I can't believe it's on here. Uh, what a shit song. But uh, Homecoming's awesome. I love like Homecoming's one of my favorite Kanye albums. Uh, uh, songs, I should say. Uh, yeah, Flashing Lights is on this. You know, the, uh, the Good Life. You know, a lot of the you know the the big bangers that, that people know Kanye for is from this album. All right, so we have 808s and Heartbreaks. This it changes all the time, but currently this is my favorite Kanye album at the moment of this whole discography. Maybe that maybe that's saying something about me. Well, this is his saddest album. I don't know. I feel like I'm in a good place right now. Who knows? But this is a, this is his saddest album. This, he made this just after his mom died. He is, every, you know, it's very auto-tuned. It is, it's it really, it's really interesting to get into the the head of of Kanye in this. You know, with "Say You Will" and "Welcome to Heartbreak," so good. Bad, bad news is probably my favorite on here. See, uh, see, you know, my nightmare is also really good. That's a great song. And amazing, awesome man. Just the whole track list is awesome. Like this is probably, other than the song Robocop which I don't really like that much. This is a super tight album. This is, it's really good. I love it. All right, now his song, My Twisted Dark, tw uh, my, my Twisted Dark Fantasy, shit, uh, how do you say it? Um, my Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, that's it. Uh, has a r limited like release on vinyl and it's really expensive to get. So maybe I'll get it in the future. Maybe I'll wait for another re release for it. We'll see. But I do have the, the single record of Power. So this is one of the, the, the singles on that album. And you know, everyone loves that song. It's awesome. And this is this really cool like art design on the, the record. Like that's the actual record with the with the, the the head on it with the sword. It's very cool. So it only has one song on it, so like it wasn't worth the twenty bucks I spent on it. But I thought it was cool. It's stupid that it's got two songs on there, the clean version and the explicit version. But they clean, they play the clean version first, and you know, with records, you can't skip them. And my my record player is like automatic, so I can't even place it where I want to put it. So it's it's a pain. It, it it's a pain that they did that. They should have had a different printing on both sides, right? So they had like they they just they printed the same version on both sides, you know. So the both songs are just on both sides of the record, which is annoying. There should be the explicit side and the the single and the the you know the the edited side. Even though fuck the edited side, right? All right. Then I have Jesus. This the I, it's an underrated Kanye album, man. Everyone hates this, but I think it's a it's it's a huge banger. I I really like the the vinyl. So the the CD for this was just a like a was just a clear case with this little red like, label on it so you could just see the disc with a red label and on the back it had like a like a track listing this one doesn't for some reason it, it's weird they wouldn't go all out on the design but that's right but uh yeah so when they yeah this is an unofficial vinyl i'm pretty sure you know, i just you know, bought it recently and yeah so i i, I love the yourself I, I think it, it really needs to grow on you what's that yeah you know, the hannibal burris line you know you got grow on you like the yeezus album and it's 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 great it's it's full of a lot of bangers it's very heavy you know not a lot of like slower songs in this album other than um bound two i think uh that, that's a lot slower right i haven't listened to this album in a little while but um yeah great album i think very underrated yeah it um it sucks so i don't have life of pablo either which came out after that album but um i do have do, 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 i don't have yay either which was another one of his uh, so that was one he released when so he released like five albums over like the, the span of a couple of weeks you know like one a week i believe and that and he released like push a t album that he produced he produced a nas album that he produced and th he, then he he made his own album called yay which i don't own i'll probably get it soon you know i just haven't got it you know and this album with him and kid cuddy um you know uh fantano gives us a 10 out of 10 
and I don't disagree. This song is so good. The op no, this album is so good. The opening song, Feel the Love, is so strong. It is like one of the strongest ways to start an album. It, it is it is so banging. Uh, so yeah, I'll probably get more of the Kanye albums. And I, like speaking of Pusha T, I don't have any Pusha T, and I love Push. I think like I could get like three or four Push albums. Like I love him so much. And I have Kanye's latest album, Jesus is King. The, the epic blue case. So the, this kind of has the same vibe going for it as the, you know, the design of the Yeezus album. You know, with the, the clear casing. You know, he's just got a track listing on the back. So this is, you know, Kanye going more into his, his you know, spiritual side of, uh, you know, religion. Which, yeah, I'm not religious. But, you know, I think it, it's really cool to, to see, you know, Kanye, you know, like, just, you know, he's just becoming his own guy. You know, he's he does what he wants to do. And I love it, you know? So uh, the best song in here is probably, you know, Users Gospel with that epic saxophone solo. Oh my god. Oh, it's so hot. But, yeah, so I, I really like this album. It's really short. And I am sad that people don't love this movie. Uh, either this, um, this record that much. You know, I think people people are thinking, like, Kanye is, like, grifting about it. You know, just pretending to be spiritual. Or having a mental breakdown or whatever. I think he's just being who he is. You know, he's always been spiritual. You know, like, you see it even in the college dropout that he... He was singing about, you know, with uh, Jesus, uh, what's that song, you know, uh, Jesus Walks, you know, and so he was always singing about his, his, his religious side, so I don't, I don't know why, why people suddenly think he's, he's, you know, talking shit, but let me just grab, so I, I have the other box that has my movie soundtracks on it, let me just grab that, Zips, Walks, Okay, so the first movie soundtrack. I have an order of the title of the the movie. So this is the Blues Brothers. You know, this is a great um, this is a great movie, but <laughs> this is a you know, great soundtrack to listen to. You got a lot of jazz in it. Uh, Rawhide is a banger, and uh, Many the Moocher. They're the two best songs on here. Uh, you yeah, definitely watch this movie. It's, you know, there's a, a lot of, you know, fast car chasing and a, a exciting music. It's really fun and silly. You know, it's, it's written by that guy. There's a guy, Dan Aykroyd, who, who wrote the Ghostbusters and starred in the Ghostbusters. Got John Bellucci. You know, it's good fun. It's got a lot of, you know, similar, like, jokes and, like, styles. The Ghostbusters very raw, very dry. Yeah. So, I, the Grease soundtrack. Good fun. Got a lot of the Grease soundtrack. Uh, yeah, I don't love the Grease movie. You know, I don't love Grease. I, I think that, you know, the songs that you're meant to like, I love. You know, I, you know, I love Grease, the, the opening track. You know, I love Summer Nights. I love, you know, what's it called? That, uh, da, 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 uh, what is that song? You know, the shoobity bop bop, boot up bop ba. <laughs> what's it called? Uh, who knows? But yeah, I love those. Uh, La La Land. La La Land's one of my favorite movies. I got a you know, framed poster on my wall for La La Land. And the soundtrack is a banger. So many great songs on here. I, I love City of Stars. You know, Someone in the Crowd. Uh, there, there's a great, um, what's, what's it called? Start a Fire by John Legend. Which in the movie, they're, they're trying to you know, act as if it's like the worst song ever. The Death of Jazz. But it's a fucking banger. <laughs> like, maybe that says something about me and not being a big jazz guy, but it's so good. Uh, the Pulp Fiction soundtrack. So, there's some good stuff on here. Like, obviously, the, the music in Pulp Fiction is great. I don't think the design of the album is good. There's a lot of, like, like dialogue from the movie that's a bit it's a bit annoying. And it's like, if I want to hear the dialogue from the movie, I'll watch the fucking movie. I want to listen to the music from the movie. You know? So, uh, and so I never really want to listen to this, like... I don't listen to it too often, but it, it gets a bit of a pain. Yeah. Uh, so I just... Oh, the other one I bought yesterday. So Reservoir Dogs. Reservoir Dogs has a great soundtrack. Another Tantino movie. So, like, uh, I haven't listened to it yet. I, well, I've, I've, I've listened to the soundtrack before, like, on Spotify. But I haven't listened to the record yet, so, yeah, we'll see. But, um... Oh, and it, yeah, this this says on the back, you know, also has dialogue excerpts. Uh, experts. Ex... Serps. Oh my god. Yikes. Okay, and uh, so that could be a pain, but you know it's 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 a it's a good movie and it's got it's got great music in it. So, uh, Scott Pilgrim. 
the Scott Pilgrim soundtrack is great. I love Scott Pilgrim, and it's got this um the the vinyl is orange as well, which is cool. It's a, yeah, it's uh it's good fun. Uh, definitely watch Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> Who hasn't watched Scott Pilgrim? Uh, this was a big disappointment. The, the, this was one of the first albums I bought, and I thought it was something else. So it says Star Wars, Eps uh, you know, Empire Strikes Back. I'm like, oh my god, this is gonna be the the music the the music from Empire Strikes Back, right? Obviously, and it's not. It is like it's like a recreation of the movie. Like it's got like a bunch of dialogue and shit, and like really like light music and like you can't listen to it. It's it's like you know listening to the movie for people who can't fucking see. It's kind of dumb. I don't know. I, I'll, I'll probably get rid of it one day, you know? Just haven't yet. And last but not least, the Whiplash album. So Whiplash, also by Damien Chazelle, the director of La La Land. Yeah, great movie. Amazing score. All jazz drumming and, you know, saxophones and pianos. It is great. There's a few, like, you know, your dialogue bits from the movie in this, but it's not, it doesn't bog it down, I feel like. This is just great drums and it is it's great fun so there, there's lots of other like artists and albums that i want to get you know i don't have any beatles i don't have any push t i want i want to get all the kanye stuff any more m m uh i don't know like i need some guns and roses some acdc there's like i look i like a vast variety of music and you know i don't have all the stuff i want you know so in the future i'll probably grow this a lot more you know I want to get a new record player, and I definitely need some new speakers, they're, they're not the best that I have, and I'm just borrowing them from my, my flatmate at the moment, but I'm, mo I'm moving out from him soon, so I'll have to get my own speakers soon, so I actually get some nice speakers, and then, so I've got like more of a beginner you know, player, so the, you know, what that will, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it to figure out what I want, you know, so um, you know, let me know in the comments if, you, if there's any like players you'd recommend, and all that stuff, you know, and... Yeah, so let me know what, uh, if you like this video, maybe I can, you know, talk more about music in the future. Because, you know, currently the, this channel is just about, just about movies. But I, I could definitely talk about some music. It's like, as I said, I'd like to talk about, you know, Kanye. So, yeah, uh, cheers for watching. See the 